Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. And I got a cool tactic to show you today for a situation where you're trying to rank for a keyword or you're trying to do some research on a keyword and you're not liking what the Google SERP says. Now, we're using a tool called Phrase. If you don't know what Phrase is, Phrase is the tool that you're going to use when you have your keyword, you've gotten your keyword for SEMrush or, or Hrefs, and now you need to write content around that. Phrase has a lot of power baked into it, including artificial intelligence. And when you put your query into Phrase, Phrase will go out to Google and show you the top 20 results and pull all that data inside of it that you can then analyze and use artificial intelligence to write about it, rewrite, summarize. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. But if you're not liking the 20 results, and here's the 20 results, here's the first one, the sprucecrafts.com, proflowers.com, Martha Stewart. Another way to view it is in the outline. Here's, here's another way to view all the different top 20 results. Let's say you don't like those results. Usually you would. If this is a competitive query, you're just going to go with the top 20 results. But if you have a, a non-competitive query and you want to find results from a specific domain, as an example, let's say your query, how to make a candle, had nothing good in the SERP and you wanted just to see what Britannica had to say on this topic. This is really easy to do. Let's leave our document, click new document up here. So here's our query, how to make a candle. And then what we want to do is click this little advanced tab down here. Okay, and then instead of the top 20 Google results, we're going to do just results from a specific domain. And we're going to put in our Britannica domain right here. Now, before I click create document, what this is going to do is essentially it's going to go to Google and put in a site colon Britannica.com. So what's going to happen here is you're just going to get results from Britannica.com on how to make a candle. So these are all from Britannica.com. So there's our query. There's our domain. Let's have the crawler start. It's done. Now here are top 20 results on how to make a candle according to Google, just from Britannica.com. And everything works as normal. So you can expand one of these and you can write about this. You can write your fact. You can automate your content brief. You can go into optimize and optimize all your content just as you would for, for a normal query, not limited to the specific domain of Britannica.com. Now, what if you wanted to add another URL in here? All right. In the research tab, here's your query. Here's a little pencil icon. This is a very, very important thing. You can click the pencil icon and you can filter out irrelevant results. So let's say celebrating Hanukkah, the Jewish festival. Now I could, I could remove that, but maybe inside that article, it talks about how they make candles for this festival. I, I don't know. But you could deselect that and that would remove it from this optimized section. But let's pretend that you wanted to, that you like these results, but you wanted to add a new result. You wanted to add a new URL. So we go to import over here and it asks for a URL. So let's add, let's see, this is how to make a candle. We're not limited to Britannica.com. The Spruce Crafts, we're going to add that one in there. So go to phrase, put in our URL and import it. And now there it is right there. So Here's our Britannica results. Here's the Spruce Crafts results. Now we click Save. Now Phrase has crawled that data from this particular site and added it into the mix. We now have 21 sites that we're analyzing. And you can go in here and you can write about this. You can use the AI to rewrite it. Really easy way, really cool hack to get more surgical precision about what you're trying to, uh, to crawl and what you're trying to analyze when you're writing your article to rank higher on Google. Not, you don't want to use it all the time, but there's specific situations where this would be very valuable. Now, if you don't have Phrase in the description below, there's a link. Definitely check it out. Also, I have a course, Phrase Beginner to Master Course. It's getting a lot of good reviews. Also, definitely check it out. There's a link in the description below. If you have a comment about anything or a question about anything I've said in this video, please drop a comment below or go to the official Phrase Facebook group. It's completely free to join. Tag me. I'll definitely help you out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.